Hello, Julio here, and today we're going to be demoing the study section of the organizational platform of AI Tutor. So we are once again in our demo organization with our um, three students uh, in um, in our two teachers, along with two sets, all students and top set. These are our two classes. So let's jump into our study platform. So from here, you will notice that we have pure mechanics and statistics. Uh, these are the topics. Um, and you can actually change the entire module um, by ticking this drop down and changing the module you want to see. Students can practice the entire um, maths available on the platform, which includes GCSE Foundation, which has different uh, topics. Um, along with uh, all the way to Mathematics A2, uh, which is the hardest. So let's continue. Um, and here we have um, the topics, but they will also have percentages along these rows, and these represent an average. Now, these represent the average of the class that you currently have selected here. So this is averaging for all of my students. Uh, which is a class I created um, in a previous video. If I want to average just for my top set students, as you can see, the numbers change. Um, and I can see that, you know, my top set students average 11% in proofs. So let's go back to all students and let's see how, what happens when we dig into one of these sections. Let's go into algebra and functions, which is by far the most comprehensive um, module that we have. As you can see, it's broken down where it has a summary, it has a progress of the average of the class, which I can change directly from here as well. As you see, when I change it, uh, my students change here. I only have one student in, um, in my class, the top set. But let's go back to all students. Um, it's broken down by subtopics. Uh, these are subtopics of algebra. So we have indices, thirds, quadratics, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And we see the progress of the lessons so um, this is the average completion of the lessons of all my students in my all students class and this is the average um, progress or competence of all the questions um, of uh, that, that my all my students have completed so if we jump into one of these let's jump into indices um, we can see, oh, uh, before we do that, actually, uh, you can also see a breakdown, um, a breakdown of the students on the left that I have in the, in the set in the class and the actual subtopics on the bottom. And if you hover over it, you can see each of their individual progress. So we can have a quick view of what um, the students um, and how good they are in each. It's color coded, so the greener it is, the better um, they are doing. So let's go and jump into one of these. Now, um, indices has one lesson associated to it. You can click into it, you can view the lesson, view the videos that uh, our tutors have done, um, view the follow up questions and the, the follow up videos. Each lesson is comprised of videos and questions um, so it really hand holds you through learning indices and you'll probably end up with a hard indices question um, you can practice the question see the result it gives uh, you can try again by simply kicking away and clicking back onto the question and that way you can really understand what your students are practicing uh, you could go ahead and set them this lesson as a homework just just Unofficially, you could say, oh, go practice the indices basic skills lesson. Um, and they can go ahead and do that. And you would see them complete it as this goes up. Now, bear in mind, completion does not mean they got the questions right. It just means they watched the videos and attempted the questions. To understand if they got the questions right, um, look at their progress in simplifying the indices um, in, in, the, in the individual questions that we have set. So you can see here there's qu the questions, there's three questions in indices, and this is again the average progress, and um, if they have completed it, if they have attempted it. Um, so 
if we click into one of these, it will actually generate the question for you. Uh, you can see uh, and try to your heart's content and see what kind of quality the questions are and the quality of the working out. As you know, the question and numbers will change every time and each user will have a different question every time. Now remember the questions are graded by difficulty where B or A star are the A star level questions. They're the hardest questions and C and D are the easiest questions. You also have the view of the progress, um, again, averaged here as well. So you can see you know, the historical progress of your class. And again, I can swap any time and see that my top set has actually completed all of these. Um, questions, meaning I have a t uh, they have attempted them, everyone has attempted them and selected an answer, but their progress isn't very good. So they are obviously still struggling or they are guessing. And that is um, pretty much it for the study. Um, that is why we recommend that you create a class called All Students, just so you have a top level view of every single student whenever you wanted that. Um, and then also have breakdown of your classes as you see fit. That is the study room. It's a great place um, for you to view um, the, 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 the material, view the lessons in particular, um, and you can go ahead and set questions unofficially and lessons unofficially uh, from this view here and say, go, go to CERDs and go practice the basic CERD skills. Um, and your students will go ahead and do that. And you can see that increase in completion. You can see these increase in completion. And then you can monitor the progress, the average progress. Great. Um, if you want to go see the uh, individual progress of the students for questions, then it's best you look at their dashboards um, and we also have a syllabus view, which gives you a new way of seeing the average progress by navigating the syllabus, which we will go through in a later video. Overall, that is the study room. I hope that was helpful. Thanks very much.